Welcome back. We are on the last day of our quest Starhawk build. The very first day we tied a knot in our Kevlar cord. We tied it to the engine mount. We put glue on the engine mount, inserted the engine mount in. We led that through this end of our rocket. We attached the fins and the engine mount, and this sat overnight and it dried. So this should be good and solid now, nice and strong. So today, we are going to talk about our recovery stuff. This rocket doesn't use a parachute like some rockets do. Some rockets use what they call a streamer. My Aspire rocket, for example. This fella. This thing can travel 800 miles an hour. It can go up to four or 5,000 feet in the air. This guy doesn't use a parachute. It uses a streamer. So, set him down. So not all rockets use parachutes. Streamers come down fast, so they go up high, and then they come down nice and fast too. But not so fast, that it crashes into the ground. We don't want that crashing into the ground. So, step seven says to peel the backing off the gripper tape and attach it to one end of the plastic streamer. So I'm in my little bag here and I've got my nose cone, I have my little plastic streamer, and I have my gripper tape. And I have, this is a decal, we can put this on the rocket. We'll put that aside for later, though. All right. So it says to peel the backing off of the gripper tape and attach it to one end of the plastic streamer. So this is the plastic streamer. And if we unroll it, we are going to apply static electricity. <laughs> We're going to apply it to one end of this tape. So, let's see, how does this work? The instructions show the circle end of it. See, the instructions show the circle end of it right here, and it goes in. So this end right here is going to attach to the streamer. I'm going to orient it just like that. I'm going to peel this off. Okay, now when I peel this off, don't touch the sticky part. I'm going to peel that off, and I'm going to lay it down on top of my streamer, just like that. That was super de duper easy. Okay, so what you should have is a hole that you're going to attach, and it's attached to your streamer. Looks just like that. So did I do that? Sure did. Peel the back of the gripper tape off, attach it to the one end. I have done that. Now it says to feed the loose end of the shock cord through the hole in the gripper tape. So I'm going to feed the loose end of the shock cord, that's the elastic part, through the hole in this. There's that little plastic piece that's blocking it. You may have to push that out, but I'm supposed to feed this through just like that. And that's what I'm doing there. See that? So feed the loose end of the shock cord through the hole in the gripper tape. Use two overhand knots to tie the loose end of the shock cord onto the nose cone. So the loose end of this gets tied onto the nose cone, and that's right there. So I'm going to feed this through, and then I am going to do two overhand knots. One overhand knot, and then two 
overhand knots. See how that looks? Just like how you tie a knot in your shoe. Pull those tight. Pull it tight this way. Make sure that that's not going to come loose. And we are good. So we just did step seven. Let's make sure that we know this, that we've got this. We peeled the backing off the gripper tape and we attached it onto this. We fed the shock cord through the hole in that gripper tape and we used two overhand knots to tie it onto this. Okay, looking at the picture, we have done all of that. So our recovery is finally done. Step number seven, let's go ahead and check off B and C. Step number seven is now done. Step number eight, apply the self-adhesive decal to your rocket as shown here. Note, use caution when removing the decal from the backing to prevent the decal from curling over onto itself. So you've got this decal and this is showing a stripe up here but I'm not seeing that stripe on this so I don't think that that is part of this decal set but I am not sure. Now here's the thing you can do. You can put that decal on there if you want to or you can decorate your rocket however you want. If your teacher wants you to use some markers, you can color this with markers. You can do whatever you want to. If you've got some paints or markers, whatever you want. Or you can stick that onto the body tube, um, just like that. Peel this off and then stick it on, uh, just like a sticker. Okay. So that's totally up to you. How you want to decorate your rocket, that's up to you. You can put your names on it, you can color it, however you want to. All right, how we, what are we gonna do next? Well, we're gonna take all of this stuff and we're gonna pack this all away. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take the streamer and we're going to fold the streamer in half and then we're gonna fold it in half again and then we're going to fold it in half again. And then we're going to kind of roll it up. Let's start this over again. We're going to fold the streamer in half. Fold it in half again. And then we can fold it in half again. And then we can just keep folding it until we can roll it into a roll so that it can fit inside the body tube. Okay, And then we're going to take the shock cord and we're going to push the shock cord inside. This sometimes can be a little tedious. Sometimes it helps if you have something like this. And then your nose cone goes on it, just like that. Okay? And you have a very cool rocket ready to go. So, on launch day, we're going to have an engine. The engine is going to look just like this one. It's going to look just like this. That engine is going to go inside your motor mount just like that. Okay, It's going to look just like that. And when the engine is lit, it's going to travel up in the air the engine is going to then reach the highest point and it's going to blow the nose cone off. It's going to go 
the nose cone is going to come off and it's going to pull the streamer out. The streamer is going to start waving around in the air and this is going to fall back to earth ready for you to launch it again. And that's it guys. You're all done. So, may your skies be blue on launch day, may the winds be calm, and may we have an awesome day. See you out in the launch field. Bye.